Yeah, baby. Another day. Wait, wait, wait. For the tailgate. This bowling thing. Oh, my. It feels so good. But I think the little bit of hate that we get just makes it okay, a lot of it. A hate that we get right now. bowl of salad of uh, hate. We got a hate salad. We got a hate salad. Sounds like. But guess what? You ain't doing nothing to me. Nope. <laughs> uh, guess what we are right now, if you didn't notice. Yes. We are in PA South. PA South. They didn't say that we could do it. Do what? Take a little drive. Where's it? Yo, Spin Dog. Spin Dog. Shout out to my Philly people. Yeah, yeah. Where's this Bolero Booklin? Which used to be in Conchester. Right? Conchester and. Listen, I don't know where we are. We're in the middle yeah. of nowhere, which is usually how this thing happens. They put a table in front of us and they say, talk. stuff and say, hey, hey talk yeah. to the people. Talk about UVA. And talk about UVA. And that's what we do. And what we are going to talk about today is. Yes. Uh, we got a bunch of tour stops that happened over the last couple of weeks. Fuego. And, um, oh, yeah. I mean, if you see it like this, it got turned like that. Yep. Straight upside down. Yep. We're going to talk about that. Obviously, we're going to talk about the matchups that we have today here at Bay South. Yes, uh, yes, got yes. big team, Usual Suspects. Yes, sir. And we're going to have the president of Usual Suspects, Eric yes. Lindsay. And, and we're gonna my have boy, boy. Mark. Spindon yes. is going to be joining us Spindos. to talk about that. It's in the building. And the ever so popular Gordon's Top, Top 50. 50. The new list, trust me, yes. you're going to want to stick around and listen to that. With Facts. What we have. Facts. And also, if you don't know, Mega Bowl is coming up in Virginia. Yes. you got some money matches. Big bun time Big money, money matches. matches. If you like action, we're going to talk about good. it. Bet oh, yeah. good. <laughs> and, and last but not least, as always, Gordon always has a little game to us. Yeah. So I'm going to call it GG. <laughs> Gordon's game. 95% of the time, I'm going to get myself in trouble. But the thing is, we always bring in people that's for we, the game. We, that's where we always get ourselves in trouble. I think we're going to have Mark on this game because he looks fit for it. Mark, Mark is definitely ready to play the game. you don't know who Mark is, Mark is probably the, the voice of Usual Suspects. That's the spokesperson. The spokesperson oh, of Usual Suspects. So we're going to have him on. No way. We're and, talking, he's itching. To get on he camera. is itching to get on deck. <laughs> he, is he is ripping off the jacket, the shirt, he's on with the fire. ripping to get on. He's on fire. He's not even bowling today. He's not on fire. Like he's ready to just rip some new ones. Do this. Let's start it off. We're gonna go around the UVA. Yes. We had a long trip. A long trip because this a trip, lot of matches, but trust me, a lot on this trip there was a lot of stumbles. Now let's let's start <laughs> in New Jersey, New, New Jersey. Jersey South. Yes. Okay. They were at 30 strikes. Yes, they were. They had number 20, the New Jersey Thrillers. Facts. They went against the Rejects. Facts. All right? Now, the Thrillers uh, have, a, have a guy's name, uh, Pat Blinko. The Provincials. The Pat Blinko. Yo, these guys yeah. are the truth. They are. These are, the, the, these are the truth. The Jason, Jason, and but Steve. Yes. I don't want to mess that and up. And this is why I take pride in our saying when we updated, uh, um, basically we gave them a... Uh, Upset. Oh, okay. when was that? Oh, uh, when I was with my LA days, um, playoffs. Uh, they had us as the underdogs, and yes, Listen, we when, stepped up to the, the plate. When the hair grows gray, the memories start coming back, the flashbacks. Yeah. And also the memories of the UVA. That's exactly what it is. Yes, it, it is. brings you the old school. Uh, on this day, they laid it down. All right, the rejects, fifth place squad, took 28. I think the drill bits were dull. I know. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, also in this division, you got AC Express. They handled their business. Right. Uh, they went against the Weekend Warriors. Right. Wait. Sent them back. Casey, you, you did it again. Well, that video. Casey, hey, me, the only reason why I'm talking about this right now. You got the Vixen's champ, Mia Williams. You got the champ, Mia Williams on it. Mia Williams is on AC Express. She is AC Express. And she is AC Express. And she's also the president. On top of that... She's also, what is it, if I'm not, uh, I'm not also the president, I am a client yes. of AC Express, Yes. and she is carrying AC Express because the other half of the war side well, is just she, like the heavyweight star. Well. She is a superstar, two-time yeah. champion, and I think she's going to whip your butt, AC. Wow. Yes. Uh, and I'm, I'm calling that right now. I'm going to give a shout out here for uh, Jeff Mannery of Bulletproof. She's in 300. All right, you made the cut. Make Good on you, I'm about to burn you. From Jersey, we're going to take it up to the Bronx. BX, baby, all day, every right. day. 
We got number 26. That's Tribe Called Ness. That's your squad. That's my squad. They yeah. took on first place, obviously. They took on uh, Apocalypse. Big old school matchup from, uh, I think they were Actually, no, that's a Van Ness rivalry. That's a Van Ness rivalry. Van Ness rivalry. A lot of the people from Apocalypse went to yep. the Ness. And Apocalypse also, they ranked at number 49 out of 50. Well, but, you know, I don't know how so, they got on their list, but they did. They did. Do they do. Well, leading into here, Tribe, they came off their first loss of the year. Yes. Uh, they lost to the New York Farmers. Right. And um, this matchup, they didn't do themselves what any favors. What did Chris say? What are two crooked L's? Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, for this one, just take one of those away. Just take one of those away. Tribe lost again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Apocalypse beats them 24 to 16. I don't even know how, but uh, honestly, shout out to Apocalypse, bro. Yeah, still family, you know. I, I think that this is Apocalypse's biggest win of the year. Um, yeah. In that division. Yeah. For sure. They're not going to win the division, but. They, they may, may not, but they, they make they, this close. That is their big win. And, and another team. That is that, a house battle. Yeah. And, and there's another team there that uh, is under the radar, and slowly they picked up the second place. That's Control Chaos. One of the new UBA. Oh, one of the new UBA. So they new uh, UBA. They're one of the and they're trying to become teams, UBA. We've got, we've got two guys there that we know. Anthony Calvert, Rob Anthony Manson. Anthony Calvert, Luca, Louis Cologne, uh, Cologne Kenny, uh, Kenny Ramos, 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 Ramos. Obviously, this is a team that we've got some personal connections. We do. So, we do. But slowly, honestly, seriously, they're they're in second place now. And um, they can make that. They, they're they're a they, team. They have a team with some talent. That well. can definitely make that, so, that, that jump. I think that Tribe they're the team that can shake up the division. I think Tribe and Apocalypse should both watch their back. Yes, to be honest. Facts. Also, I want to give a shout out to a team of royalty on the lanes, Donald Robertson, who's 298. Um, no, 298. Listen, I don't know what happened. He wasn't ready. No, he wasn't out. ready. He said, <laughs> "From the Bronx, we're gonna take it up to the DMV. We'll go down south a little bit. We're we'll gonna go down south they a little were, bit." They were, at, they were at Valero Normandy. Uh, you got the number. Listen, if you know what happened at Normandy, this little history was about C Day, right? Facts, yes. C Day, that was a long time. That's way before our time. He's but, a history buff, so am I. Sorry. No, not about this. He's a UBA history buff. Yes. Number two team in the UBA, Impact. All right? They, they got having a lot of hype. A lot of hype coming out after they beat Outrage. They were undefeated. They went against Apex Predators, fourth place team. They spoke to Gordon. That's what it was. They spoke to Gordon, I heard. And if, the dark, if you know about talking to the Dark Cloud. The Dark Cloud doesn't set you on a good path. not what you want to do. No. And I think uh, I think the Apex Predators decided to impact the UBA rankings here. Because Apex was a form of team. And they still are. They beat. They beat they impact. Are. They beat impact in Manhattan. They're not. Handling. Yeah. They're not. They're not. They're not something to sleep on. Yeah. Um. I think that new impact wasn't paying attention like they said they was. You think they overlooked them? Yeah. I think they over. They think they got overlooked. Well, Apex Predators uh, took it to them. They took. Their, they took their biscuits. Four to six. <laughs> And, I mean, after a loss like that, you, the only thing that I can say is how far is Impact going to slide in the rankings? Facts. Absolutely. Facts. From uh, the DMV, we're going to take a little trip up to our division that's New England South. All right. Uh, I got called out. I got called out already. I will handle that match. Let me get better. He's on the DL. I'm, right now, I'm getting better. I haven't thrown a ball yet. But it's like riding a bike for me. I will guarantee you be back on my bike. If you've seen some of the banter on some of the social media pages, you'll know what we were talking about. Um, I think uh, there was a buy for the house. So yes. We can't talk about that. But we can't, we talk, can't talk about New England Heat. Number 17, right? IGG. Yes. I don't think Corey. Corey? Corey Lepresto. Corey Lepresto. What's up, Corey? I think they also... They, they, they he pulled the card. He pulled the card on me. Is that the guy who called you out? He pulled, yeah, he called me out. Okay. But he also pulled, called me out with saying who's family to me. Ah, yes. I remember that. Then, <laughs> well, so I have to pretty, like, can't be biased too much. No? But, um, you know, congratulations, Jose Lasalle. Jose Lasalle. Yeah. New England Heat, undefeated. So, they've got the most points in the NBA right now. You sure they're undefeated? Yes. Even now? They were 7-0 they were and 0 on tour. On tour, right? 224 points. So, they've been averaging over 30 points in this game match. Right. They're stellar. Facts. He hasn't been a fan. Still I've not been a on fan. the bandwagon. He's still not a fan. Still not a fan. Still haven't seen Gigi Mason. I want an autograph. Please, can we see Gigi Major? Do you, no matter what, do we, do we have to take a trip up there? Is this what I, I think that's what it is. I think we're gonna have to take a trip up. I there. think we're gonna have to show them why we're out. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna have to show them why we're UBA Tell Facts. 
back. How about that? On top of that. On to- and then, we also, you know, he's getting all the ladies that shot 300, 300. Bro, I want to see what you shot. That's it. You got to go check it out in person. You got to go check it out in person. Well, here's the thing. They Don't get mad on, when they, I do they, it. They took down one of the older, uh, one of the OG squads, commission. They did? They took down commission. They took down commission. Commission's no slouch. They're, they're five slouch. and one. They're, they're fifth place in the division. All right. Um, but they turned off the heat. <laughs> Commission came in and, uh, and I, I think they humbled them. Did I call Latino heat instead of New England heat? I don't know. Because there's no real heat in New England. Is there, is there Latino heat in Connecticut? Yeah, there's Latino heat. We have a... We have a it's called a commission. It's called, yeah. they, they turned off the Latino heat. They, they, they turned, turned off up. the New England heat. Yes. They win 32 to 8. That's Ooh. pretty big... Uh, that's big a big loss, that's bro. That's a loss there. That's not a 28. That's a 38. No. And, uh, and, uh, and that win from commission there jumps them and puts them into a playoff spot now. That's a team that don't don't sleep on the commission. Uh, no. they, they want to see them grow. They yes. were out there in the battle last yes. year. And they know what they're doing. They yeah. seem like a, a, a happy-go-lucky kind of team. But due, to, due to the president's last owner of my team, I really can't talk yeah. trash about them. And, and also, they have, the, what's that guy's name? They have that, that Spanish kid. That bro, he throws it really well. He throws it, he throws it really good. That's, really that, good that's gonna be a new BA jersey. It might be. <laughs> but uh, like you said, New England Heat taking that loss, you made this team, you made this man very happy. I tell you. No, that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't wish you. No, we never do. I don't this wish. This is all. This is fun and games. This is fun and games. I can have a drink with you after this. Absolutely. Especially after I beat you on the match. There you go. So, you know, that's the smoke, baby. Smoke, baby. From, from Connecticut, we're going to go back to Jersey. New Jersey Northeast. Northeast, baby. Yep. They both had Hudson Lanes. We had a big matchup here. You had the number Fast. five team, the Arsenal. Another another one another of these undefeated, tough, undefeated teams. teams. They took on Class Act. Shall we say? Number 23 ranks Upset. Class Act. Upset. So but never nothing either. Both teams are undefeated. Both teams are undefeated. Undefeated so, you know, going in. One versus two matchup. One got to lose. One team's got to lose. The unexpected happened. But I'll tell you this. A lot of banter on social media from, uh, with Class Act. A lot of people were kind of dumbing them down. I'm loving Class Act right now, bro. And, and, and Bill and, 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 and these guys, they stepped up. They're actually, I got to go with Class Act over Arsenal in this particular sense because they do have some years over Arsenal. Well, Arsenal's a brand new brand team. team. But they've got some really they got some old hitters they got and the heavy hitters. hitters. But uh, class acts, I think. I think with all the talk that they've had, we've had, uh, I think they've got a chip on their shoulder. Like, yeah, take a step they, here. They've got a chip yeah, on their shoulder, it and they raised it up a level. I'll tell you that. Oh, they, they defeated. It. They defeated the Arsenal. So class acts wins thirty to ten. David and Goliath. David win. David and Goliath. And it puts it in first. And it puts them in first, first place. place. So and, now and, and, position and, is coming. Right I'll tell the you corner. this: the Arsenal you had uh, Joseph Bond shooting three hundred, and it was not enough. So class acts. So you're taking a major L on that one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so congratulations I, 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 on your honor. I would, I would call that an upset win. Yeah. I, I, no, no, no. I would, I would call that an upset win. Wow. You got two teams undefeated. That's a top five. Team. They're both undefeated. That's a top five win. It's just Arsenal that's got, got the higher, got, got got the higher ranking in what is this. Okay, fine. It's not an upset. It's a legitimately good top That's a good five. win. I, that, good win. That, I, I'll on top it. of that, they so, think. Before that, they beat the functional. Yes, and that was, there was a lot of banter between them. A lot of banter between that too. I'm still calling. Keep it a UBA, bro. Keep it UBA. I'm ready to press with you. If you've been keeping track, we've had five straight upsets. Let's <laughs> keep it going. Let's keep it going. <laughs> We're going to go to PA South, where we're yes, at now. We had uh, the number 22 team, Usual Suspects. All right. They're in first place also. They're undefeated. Right. 5-0. Oh. They took out South Jersey Strike Force. But now we got to take that out of the way. South Jersey Strike Force, all right? Uh, who's on that team? Mike Dickey? I, I, I don't know. Who on the Strike Force? Who's on Strike Force? Oh, that's why they suck. That's the guy who the clown. That's, I think that's the guy. He's, he's not a fan of us. He's not a fan of us. He called us clowns. It happens. It's all right. He's bad. Clowns should yeah. be assassins. Yeah, he's bad. He's a little upset. But, but. Hey, shout out to the crew. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. You know. He's good. I, mean, I don't know what's going on. I don't. I don't either, but, you know. I mean, but he's in the, the uh, that, that he's division on of. South Jersey uh, Strike. South Jersey Strike. Okay. So, Strike Force right now, fifth place, two and four on the season. This one. Is a definite upset. Strike yeah. Force takes 28 points. Wow. Beating usual suspects 
28 to 12. How do you let that happen? I don't know. I and, do not and, know, and, my and, friend. And there's another one of these things where uh, usual suspects, Urban Cole, 300. I tell you, and, and not enough. You, you keep on depending on one person. Stop. Yeah. Stop. This team for it's a reason. Record the there's an M and E, and that's me, the team. But at the end of the day, you need more people. You need, you need, you know, I mean, you need more. You need more. That win actually puts Strike Force at three and four, but it also puts them in third place and in the playoffs. And strike your position, but they're still tough. Hey. Uh, let's go from, from Pennsylvania. Let's take it back to Connecticut, New England North. Right, okay. The other division. They were at Valero. Oh, oh. Okay. You had a ranked team here, number 45, the Auburn Marlins. <laughs> Auburn Marlins. So I'm assuming this may have been a home, a home, possibly. Home, home game for them. Um, first place, uh, they took on Phoenix. Team in sixth place. This is pretty simple. Has no rise out of the Phoenix. They get home. <laughs> Maulers win 36 to 4. Um, also, there's another team in that division, Identity Crisis. Uh, yeah, I know. know. Yeah. I think that's, uh, that's Joey Naruse. Yeah. Shout out to no. no, they're on Joey combination. Naruse. Sorry. Sorry. That's the going after That's the what? The China Syndrome team? China Syndrome and all that. Yeah. Gotcha. That's different. So, they were on a bye. Because they're on a bye, they dropped to third place. So the Maulers with this win now go to be first. Now go in the first. Okay. The OCC don't like their team name. That's what I it guess is. not. I want to give a shout out here to uh, Conrad Alper of Team Excalibur. Please don't make Shoots 296. I just want to know what happened on the last shot. I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> first check is on the worst. Second. <laughs> he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. <laughs> And I, I want to give another, another shout out uh, to Mop Nation Militia, actually. So, they're in the team. Right. Aaron Major of Mop Nation Militia. Okay. 259, 277, 290. Shoots 826 on the day. So, definite honor score. Honor score. Good shooting. Good shooting. You make it joke, you look good. Make I think that's, that's the only way you look good. <laughs> well, <laughs> as in the words of Algeri. Is it an adult and child league that he can join? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, from one uh, ranked team, uh, we're going to take it down south to the number one ranked team. Right. The Hitmen. The Hitmen. The Capital District. The right. US, they were at AM, AMF Europe. Right. And um, they, took on, they took on number 29, the Violators. Hashtag. Ooh. Hashtag Violators. Hashtag. There's a hashtag Violators. Um, this is round two. Actually, between yeah, because um, they both they both a uh, couple matches. Ago. Right, right, right. And and the first match, Hitman uh, won thirty six to four. Right. So you know this is round two. Well, you kind of turned a suspect in this. Well, Did round two go your way? <laughs> round two definitely went our way. Hitman oh, okay. wins thirty four to six. All right, because I'm, that I'm is like a, you waiting on this. I'm like seventy to ten. Right. Seventy points uh, from the violators. Violators gonna move down and get in the rankings. They've kind of been up and down this list the whole time, but they have remained on this list. Right. I don't know for how much. They have no team so far. They're just inconsistent. So it looks like they're, they're inconsistent against the Hitmen because they're only this will be their second loss and they're only two off the That's the that's the crush. So, but the thing is that, that is with crush. that with that win, Hitman now has a humongous win. Right they they're now up by fifty nine points over the bottom. Hashtag bottom. So hashtag, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> but I think a fifty nine point lead, yeah, there's some time to go. I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, let's go to the deep south. That um one of your favorite squads, number six, Spartanburg Savages. I like Savages. Don't get me wrong. I said that. I'll talk the talk, but damn. They were at, they were at AMF Savannah. I'll let you know where where you at with me. Yep. They took on the outsiders. Right. right. So no Casey Parnum that day. Big problem. No problem. <laughs> they took care of uh they took care of like 28 points to 12. Wow. So outside of they just said you were just light work. Right? Like, 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 no hitters needed. Like light work. No, no hitters needed. Nah, 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 here's the thing, right? Can Spartanburg Savages run to the table? That's what it's like. Okay. Second question. Can we get a video from somebody other than Casey Parnell from the Savages? You've got contenders. You've got tag team champs. You've got tag team champs going to Mega Can we get a video? From somebody, even if she's in the video with them, please give me something else. I want more. 
in all fairness, Casey did add well, another uh, savage on the on her last video. Who she be? That's, that doesn't work um, that way. Okay, all right. I'm talking to Ken Boy, Nick Smith. You guys are the, the tag team champs down south. Let us know Show me something, bro. Show me something. Also, we're gonna, uh, this, he's going to go great. This is going to be great for him. Watch this. Check this out. Right. Shout out Leonard Freeman of Boo Boo. Shout out Leonard Freeman shooting 297. Why? That's not even an honor <laughs> score. Really? Hey, he shot 297. What happened on the last shot? He was almost there. That's what I want to know. What happened in typical fashion? He couldn't finish. <laughs> that's, what it, that's what it goes down to. Hey, listen. From the Deep South Division, we're going to go to the DMV South Division. Okay? Oh, okay Number 18. You had DC Mafia. Okay. That, that's uh, a good team. Yep. They took on a team called Guilty by Association. They are at uh, place squad. This is uh, pretty simple. DC Mafia stays undefeated. Yes. They won uh, 30 46 on them. Okay. That's big That's big money. Now, uh, that's just going to widen their lead. Uh, second place team, straight business cards. Huh? Yeah. That's just I like that squad too. They do. They're going to need to do some work now if they want to catch this amount. Actually, it may be smart that uh, straight business cards just stay second. Maybe. Because uh, they weaken them out. Yeah. They play the weaker level uh, in the playoffs. And then. Um, they could probably go for the upset after. A big time uh, shout out here. We're going to shout out Christian Lindsay. High power. It's 296. Right. Again, what happened on the last ball? I tell, I, like, if you guys can come to show us tell me what happened. I'll tell you what happened. The headset. And also, I want to give a shout out. Shout out Derek McNeil of Most Wanted for shooting 300. Congratulations. That's an honor for There you go. So, let's go from DMV South. We're going to go back down to the South, the intercoastal district. Listen, we're going up. We're, we're road trips, all right? We're everywhere, right? Listen, they were at Cardinal Lane's Shipyard. I don't know what that is. But number 19, Reality Check. Yes. Uh, another first place team. They took on Phoenix Fire, all right? Another Phoenix that did not rise. That never did. They returned to the ashes. <laughs> right back to the ashes. The Alley check uh, keeps them in check. They went 36 to 4. Back there. All right? All right. Uh, another team that's in that division is number 35, Motion to Strike. Uh, they handle business as well. They won uh, 38 to 2. Do they got a gavel on the, on the jersey? I, don't, I haven't seen what the jerseys look like. Motion to Strike, if anybody's listening, got a lawyer. show us what the jersey looks like. Yeah, because right? I don't know what it looks like. Please. Uh, let's go back up. Jersey Shore. All right. Jersey Shore, they were at Stratford. Right. Uh, that's a fun house. I like that place. I like that house. Whoop, whoop. Rough, rough. Replacements. The replacements. Number seven. That's a All horrible right. name. I didn't. I like the movie. I like the movie, though. I like the movie. That was a fun movie. That was a great movie. Oh, well, you can have another movie right they now. Took on, they took down train wreck. Ooh, and they got wrecked. It's a gun train wreck. Train wreck has a former heavyweight champ, William, William Harris. Yeah, William Harris. This is not the guy that lost to. No. I don't know if he lost to a pond. I think he did. All right, but he is a former champ. champ. Okay. Um, you know, replacements actually, they're coming off a loss to Matrix. Right. Um, they also lost Matrix. their support. They yeah. lost their support oh. to the Matrix. How do you lose to Matrix? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They had a flash of light from the social media person. Well, I don't know, but I think there was a little bit of a hangover because they took another L here. Train wreck. 32 to 8. Wow. Back so they to back. Took back two to back. L's. 30 point losses. Two L's. So rough Ruff. Not good. Not good, Ruff Ruff. Ruff Ruff is Ruff Ruff. Ray Man, let's go. Have to, they're going to have to fix that Mr. shit. Mr. Rivera, uh, they're calling on you. Uh, shout out. I'm going to shout out Jason. I'm going to butcher this completely. Jason Wichnovitz of Matrix. We're shooting 300. Uh, it's not actually the whole team that I'm mad at, <laughs> but they're shooting. Uh, as I said, I, one thing I about know. the UVA... Once we pass that line, we can come back and have drinks. <laughs> my, shout out to my man Ryan. It was a, it was it was a great cruiser week. Yeah. In the TV. Also, shout out to Stephen Lella of Powerhouse. Oh, okay. Also shoots three hundred that day. Congratulations, bro. Shoot, yeah, let's let's get rid of the two nineties. Right. Unless you shot two ninety on the dot, there's no reason to just shout him out. Well, you were just shout him out because I, I shot him out because I want to know what happened on the last shot. We know That's what fine. happened. Hershey Sports happened. I want to know. I want to hear what happened. It was. If you guys go on social media, he wasn't media, ready. He wasn't like, ready. In response to I'm at my tailgates, nachos, bro. what happened was. I'm looking at my nachos. Let's go to conspiracy theory. Let's do it. 
We gotta go back down south. Queen City District, they were at the Strikers Family Sports Center. Facts. Number 11, Conspiracy Theory, they took on the mob. This is a good matchup, I guess. Um, the mob, seventh place team, three on three on tour. Right. Conspiracy Theory looking to run the table again. They're undefeated. Right. And they're knocking on the door to the top ten. Right. I don't know about that. But well, we'll I'll know. tell you this. It, 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 They're it, 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 it didn't matter. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. They, they the, mob, it. the mob won that. The mob? The mob wins. 34 to 6. And let me tell you something. They were led by. Wait, 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 wait. As, as my, mother, yeah, as my grandmother would say, yeah. get that chacleta. Yes, because yeah, I just got spanked. That is a, they, they got they got obliterated by the mob, to be honest. And they, the mob here was led by Mitchell Phillips. Mitchell mm-hmm. Phillips shoots 278, 257, 279. Yeah, 814. All right, the congratulations. Honor oh, school. Cool. That's how you do I'm good with that. That's another way you can get on yeah. to being mentioned. Let's and get rid of those two ladies because they, they're not ready for it. Clearly. Right, Leonard yeah. Freeman? Yeah. You know them. I told you, you're going to like the group <laughs> But that went now, but uh, the mob is now 14 points out of the playoffs. So that's a big right, win for them. That's a big win, but it's and another contention. Here we go. Another shout out. Rodney Peterson of the Carolina Rose shot 298. So shout out. What happened on the last Wait, shot? Wait, let me guess. It was the way the oil of the machines. What the happened lanes. on the last shot? It was the lanes. <laughs> let's do it. Lanes. All right. From the Queen City, let's go to the Sand Hills. Come on, bro. There's more. You got to talk about Rolling Rebels, number 21. Is I really told you it was a long trip. Rolling Rebels, is it even worth it? Yes. They took on Synergy. Oh, okay. Match. Good match. Good match. Synergy was in the top 50. They're now not in the top 50. So, it was a good match. They're powerless right now. You know? uh, but I'll tell you this. Out of that division, we know about Ayak. They took care of business. They won another 38 point win. All right? And this one was a little funny. Uh, Synergy wins this. 24 to 16. I don't know if this is an upset or not. But the way they won is they took the team wood by 12. Got them those 10 points. Got them that way. So let's go to the triad this year. Yeah, yeah, because they get, they're going to get this, this was a really, really good matchup also. You had number 14, Sub-Zero. Right. Uh, they took on number 15, New World Order. Really? So, both, time, both teams there. Yeah, no, that's a good, that's a good match. Good matchup. That's a good match. And uh, Sub-Zero was coming off of a bye. Right. And NWO is coming off of that big upset. Uh, yes, go. go. Yeah, so. <laughs> they, took the, they took the A away from DOA. DOA. Got got. And they got got. Got got by uh they Man, got, they, up, got bro. they got OWN by NWO. Oh, okay. <laughs>